What's up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is going to focus on mainly Madden 25 content, specifically focusing on the next-gen console, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now, today's tip, we're going to be showcasing a Nano Blitz or just a Pressure Blitz. It can be picked up, of course, with blocking halfbacks or slide protecting or etc. Things that common pass protection schemes will consider what what you need to take into account though when using this pressure blitz I'm going to show you today is do, you know do I blitz from the right if they're on the right hash mark do I blitz from the left if they're on the right hash mark where do I send the pressure from how often do I send the pressure what sets is it best against sometimes blitzes are better against you know three wide receiver sets than they are against pro personnel you know different things you need to consider and we're going to be going over that uh, shortly um in the videos to come over the course of the next couple of weeks here but today's video specific video we're just going to showcase this play to you guys now real quickly before I do show the video I want to draw your attention to the links in the description there's some very important information in the description where you can find the setup for this pressure play you can also find what playbook what play the what's the actual play called and you can also find some other links such as my Twitch channel, which if you guys are fans of Madden 25 gameplay, you can check out my Twitch.tv channel uh, and follow me on that channel and it'll send you an email notification whenever I start live streaming my Madden 25 gameplay. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to keep it on a regular schedule, so uh, I'm going to rely on that email uh, to just let you guys know if you're interested to come by and stop and watch. You can certainly do that. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and hop into this pressure play. Sorry for taking so much time for the introduction. So the play comes from the 4-3 on formation. It's a formation that the Seattle Seahawks typically uh, were showcased in 2011 against the Atlanta Falcons. They also, of course, used it in, against other teams, but that was the uh, game tape that I watched them use this 4-3 under defense. And the play that we're going to focus on uh, is one of my favorite plays for uh, th you know when they are trips to the right. Uh, but it can work against any, uh, it's the Mike Sam crash, and typically this blitz is going to shoot one guy free through the B-gap. And the cool part about this blitz is you really don't have to do a whole lot to set it up. That's what we like. We like those blitzes that take virtually no setup, so we can make adjustments to coverage if we want to. So all, all you have to do is just watch the play, the blitz will come through the B-gap. That time Wagner got kind of a little caught up. Now if you want to make the blitz work a little better, I recommend base aligning and spying the defensive tackle on the quarterback's left side. And there you see the blitz comes clean. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happens in instant replay uh, real quickly here. We're going to showcase this pressure play. So in instant replay we go and we look at the play and as we notice, we're going to spy 92. That's the left of screen defensive tackle Brandon Meebane. We're going to quarterback spy him because it make, not only does it make the blitz work a little bit better, it also takes away that quick underneath crossing read that the players like to use with their tight ends or with their slot receivers. So here we see the play and as you see they're going to um, 90. I think it's a 99 McDaniel. Uh, Tony McDaniel is going to occupy that left side of the line. And the beauty of this is the blitz and stunt angles of Bruce Wag or Bobby Wagner here is going to shoot through that B-gap. And you see that center is going to trip over the guard. And it's going to work perfectly for set only sitting four guys for a quick pressure sack. Now one other thing real quickly. If you want the best possible coverage from this play, if you're just wanting to get past the pressure, here's the following. You could... Uh, flat zone McBain and quarterback spy McDaniel and you see the pressure will not come in as clean and that is the only reason why I don't recommend running that setup because you, when I send the blitz I want the blitz to get in as fast as possible and I mean here you see it sometimes it'll come in sometimes it will come in that is true but there are times like you just noted before where it, it just doesn't come in very clean at all and this first setup that I gave you is probably the most consistent there you see the second time see how it's a loop around it's good but it's not great we look for great defenses here at this YouTube channel, and, and that's kind of why I want to impress upon you guys today. Uh, looking for setups that not necessarily just spring a guy free and have good coverage, but pressures that spring a guy free cleanly. Because against different types of formations, the offense will block it differently. That means that it may not work against specific sets. There you see it finally comes in with the second setup. So there's two setups for you guys today. I want to Hopefully you guys can use those to get better at this game. And if you're a beginner player, you just all you need to do is call this play and typically you will be getting some pressure off the B gap on the right side of the screen. Thank you for your time, ladies and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for your time, guys. Appreciate it. Um, hopefully, you guys are enjoying these uh, next gen tips. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, things that you're struggling with, let me know. Uh, I'm putting a whole new light on the channel uh, now that I can finally record on next gen Madden. I finally have 
uh, some time here to put some stuff together. I'm going to try to work on it this weekend and get everything back to normal, posting multiple videos a day. So if you guys have any suggestions of series, topics, ideas, opinions, how you like the game this year, just let me know. Just talk to me in the comment section, and we'll, uh, we'll have a little chat about Madden 25 next gen. Uh, Madden. So thank you for your time today, guys. Really appreciate it. Once again, I want to turn turn your direction to that subscribe button. If you are new to this channel and you're just looking for some good Madden 25 tips, we offer that. Also, guys, if you are uh, looking for some of my recent videos, some of my video content, you can check out the description. It's going to have a lot of videos that I recommend you watching uh, in that description for you. Thank you for your time, guys. I hope to see you guys tomorrow.